Hi guys, welcome back to another video and this is like a completely different intro than what you're used to seeing from me but I just got a box in with the new fall winter Catrice Cosmetics items or at least a little bit of that collection I didn't get like the entire collection or something because well <laughs> that would be a little bit overkill but I just had a long day at work and I don't have enough time to film it like all full face and just showing you the items like next to my face if you know what I mean so I'm just going to um, grab all the items from the box and just unbox it with you um, just showing my hands because I just simply don't have enough time and as you might hear there's like a lot of noise going on so I'm just going to try and find um, a little spot where it isn't that noisy and just show you all the stuff I got and just give you first impressions of all the items I got with some swatches as well. But yeah, so I'm actually just filming with my um, phone as well. And my lens is like totally cracked. I once dropped my phone and that's why here there's like a weird wooziness and like the glass on top of the lens is completely busted <laughs> so that's why i'm not completely in focus and yeah i'm just going to quit the rambling and just show you all the stuff i got from the new catrice cosmetics fall winter collection so i'm back and i just sat down at my regular desk where i do my nail art as well on this hand, just some little information, is the Pink Gel Lock Nail Art Tutorial I made this weekend, or last weekend. And on here is still um, one nail from the Sailor Mars inspired nail. That tutorial, um, I think it still has to be uploaded. And I just added these four fingers because I wanted something different on there. And since I'm not home at the weekend, I just had to fix them a little bit so they will just stay good the way they are for the upcoming three days but yeah here is the entire box so i haven't looked at any of the items in here yet but first up i do have like a pamphlet with all the information of the new autumn winter stuff for 2018 let me just check what is in here so this is what it looks like so it is filled on this side but it is also filled on this side and i'm already excited for these peel off glitter nail polishes so let me just check what is in here and i will try to just look up all of these prices in the little pamphlet as well okay i just got everything out of the package and i got two four six eight ten eleven items and i'm just going to randomly start and just talk about them show you how they look and just tell you the prices as well so first up we have got the catrice cosmetics arctic glow highlighting powder and this one is in the color jupiter's glow it's a baked highlighter with a fine light reflecting pearls for an iridescent effect silver lilac shade Mm, okay, I actually really like the um, lilac kind of highlighters and it actually really has a beautiful like pattern in there. And this one retails for $4.99 in euros. So I'm just going to swatch this real quickly. I'm not going to make like review articles of these, but just use them in like makeup looks and stuff. So that is what it looks like on the finger oh wow it actually is a lot more purple um <clears throat> sorry about that it's actually a lot more purple in real life than it is on camera but it really does give a beautiful iridescent glow i really really love this super pretty it's really pigmented actually i wasn't expecting that much pigment from this but it actually looks really good and it looks a lot better in real life than it does on camera then next thing i got let's just go on with this one and shake it up a little bit this is the catrice light collecting serum primer in morning glow shake before use okay i already did 
Um, the color as well is 030 Morning Glow. Liquid primer with light reflecting pigments for a fresh and awake look like a dewy morning glow. Use alone or under makeup. Okay. Let me just look up how much that one was because there's like a lot of information I got right here. Mm. Let me check. The primer is $4.59. So that's actually a decent price in my opinion. Um, I actually felt like 5 euros for this one is really decent as well because you actually get a ton of products. There is 8 grams in here, so that's a lot. So let's just continue with this one. This one is below the 5 euro range as well. Let me just scoop it all a little bit out of the way for you guys. This looks really, really pinky. And again, it has like that little dropper thingy. So that is what it looks like. Let me just smell it real quick. It actually has a really nice, like, sweet smell as well. So it is really liquid. I think I got way too much on here. But it gives a really nice glowing effect. As you can see here, it actually really uh, reflects the light perfectly. A little bit too much for my liking, personally. But it actually looks pretty nice i would suggest just using this on the cheekbones if you won't um go over it with um a concealer or a foundation or anything because i think it is a little bit too much to use this all over the face um, without any foundation or just use it alone on the cheekbones for a beautiful highlight because it actually does highlight really really well <laughs> So it is a really good pigmented primer on this first. Just look at it. Um, I don't know if this will be perfect on my skin because I kind of have like sensitive skin nowadays. Um, or like I'm pretty much prone to acne. So I really hope I won't get any breakouts from this. But I'm just going to try it out for a little bit and just um, get back to you on this one if I like it or not. So next up I have a blush and this is the Go Win Cheer blush. A waterproof and sweatproof blush actually. Six grams is in here. And this one is in the color 020 Glistening Pink. Silky smooth powder brush with golden shimmer for a natural looking flush and nice glow on the cheeks. I don't know how far this actually is waterproof and sweatproof. I have no idea, but let's just open this one. That is what it looks like. It actually, mm, it looks a lot darker in real life than it actually shows up on camera for some reason. I don't know why that is, because I'm just filming with my regular gear, with my regular lights. But for some reason, it looks a lot more light on camera but let me just look up how much this one is okay so the blush is only 359 and there are six shades in total and let me just swatch this one real quick yeah it really is a lot more dark in real life i don't know if you can actually see this on my hand it doesn't show up on camera at all i don't know what this is but it actually is a lot more dark and I really feel like you can see the gold, well in real life you can actually see the gold shimmer in here. But it is a really nice blush. It actually reminds me a bit of the NARS Orgasm, but a little less um, sparkly, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm not dissatisfied whatsoever and especially for the price, it's below 4 euros for a 6 gram blush. That's not too shabby. Let's just continue with this primer because we also have another primer next to the really liquidy one. And this one is the Prime and Fine Collection, the Poreless Blur Primer Goodbye Pores, long lasting soft focus effect, 30 milliliters. And I already looked this one up and it is $4.99 as well. So it gives like an invisible pore effect. 
it actually is sealed so that is pretty nice let me just take this off real quick there we go and let me just check where i have like bigger pores or something there's a red glitter i'm just going to Ooh, it actually is really liquidy it does have a nice smell but let's just check if it actually does something for my pores it really feels super smooth I'm just going all over because I go way too much. I used to have like a different kind of pore reducing primer which had a lot of silicone in it. It actually felt really silicone-y, but I do feel that it actually does blur my pores because here you can see on the highlighter, you can still see all of the little cracks in my skin or not like cracks, but just the pores and stuff. And here they're like almost completely vanished so yeah that's actually <laughs> I wasn't uh, really as expecting anything fabulous or like miracle like but it actually does look really good just look at how flawless this is compared to that Wow I wasn't expecting this at all and this one is a uh, five euro Next up, I have an eyeshadow stick, and I think it was about 3.59. Let me just check real quick. I know that there were um, 10 shades in total. Oh, there are 4.59. Uh, so this is the up to 12 hour lasting sweat proof eyeshadow stick in the color. Let me check. 010 Satin Faction. Oh, it's just oh it actually has a specific shape like a triangular shape let me just swatch this for you oh it's really soft though it gives a really beautiful like shine and it is nicely and blendable so I actually don't really dislike it usually um eyeshadow sticks are a little bit too creamy for my liking but this one is actually pretty decent and i really do like the fact that there are 10 different colors so you can just play a little bit with the different shades so next up for 3.99 we have a lip sugar scrub and balm and this one is in the color 010 sugar kiss it's like in the package like this so you can't like scroll it down all the way it actually smells really really sweet I don't think this has like a color oh but I can actually feel the scrub in here you won't be able to see anything but it actually really has scrub particles I hope you can see yeah you can see a bit and you actually get a decent amount so i'm definitely going to use this a lot and not just in winter but already in summer because my lips get really really dry when i get in the sun and stuff like that so this one will go straight into my daily purse next up something i've been really looking forward to and that are these nail polishes so these are full on glitter polishes and they are supposed to be super easy to get off of your nail because they have like a peel off base um let me check they are 359 each so i got the color 01 stress does not go well with my polish and this is a beautiful like a pinky purpley tone and the other one is this gold and that one is 03 when in doubt just add glitter let me check apply nail polish into thin layers easy to peel off so i just did my nails like on this hand and here i still have um gel polish on so i'm just going to grab my little notebook and just swatch them on here because i don't have any um practice nails on hand so let's just start off with the gold hmm. 
I really think this could actually um, be opaque in two layers. I really hope so, though. That would be great. And then the pink one is a little bit more chunky, in my opinion. Ooh, I really like this. I think this pink one will be really pretty to make like a gradient with, just like I did right here. But then a little bit more gradient-like, and this is what they look like. So the gold really is a nice... It actually has some silver in it as well. And the pink, in my opinion, is just one and the same color. But I will be definitely trying these out later if the entire collection is out. Because I want all eight shades. And then I will just make a review video separately on those. They do have a really specific smell. Like really different from their regular nail polishes. And it's not like a super pleasant smell. But it isn't really nasty either, so I think I just have to get used to them a little bit as far as the smell goes. And I'll just review all the other shades, including these, later in another video. Then next up, time for the mascara. And this one is for 59 euros. And this is the little black one, a volume mascara in waterproof. Um, you guys know me, I rarely use waterproof mascaras because I feel like they really pull on my lashes and it's just a hassle to get it off. Um, I don't know if this one actually does come in like a non-waterproof version. Let me just check real quick. Mm, yeah, it says also available in waterproof, but this one is the waterproof, so mm, I don't know. But it is in the color O10 like Jackie O. And I'm just going to open this one real quick. It really like the packaging though. It really has like a leather kind of feel to it. But plasticky leather. Ooh, look at that brush. That is a really tiny like rubbery specific kind of brush. I've never seen like such a tiny one. By Catrice at least. But yeah, I think it is pretty black. Yeah, it just is a regular black mascara. Yeah, but the brush is really tiny though. It just has a regular mascara smell, nothing fancy. But this is what it looks like. I'm going to try this out later on. So if it will become a favorite, you will definitely see this in one of my favorites videos. Then I only have two items left. This is the darker brows in two weeks. A brow colorist semi permanent brow mascara. And this is in the color 020 medium. I don't know if this will be super dark on me. Because I have really really like light brows. But let's just check it out. Ooh, This one kind of has an angle. It doesn't look that dark, to be honest, so I think I might even be able to pull it off. But that is what it looks like. I think I might just grab this one with me while I'm away for the weekend. But this is supposed to... let me check. It's a long-lasting, fiber-enriched tinting brow gel mascara for well-defined, natural-looking brows. So I think because it says it is a semi-permanent, like, um, color, it might um, stain your brows a little bit, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to try it out and see how this one works. And then the last item, I've really been looking forward to this one, just as much as the peel of... Um, polishes this one costs 6.99 so it is the most expensive one of the bunch i got today and it is the glitterizer mix and match eyeshadow palette 8 grams so blah 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 for an effective and individual eye makeup contains two base coats four glitter shades and two top coats let me just check it i really i have to say i don't like the packaging um, because it really doesn't look sturdy at all. Just look at that. I can just 
pull them apart and that's not supposed to happen and it's just glued on a cardboard so i really dislike the packaging i do like the triangular shape it is a little bit different and i i do like that but these are supposed to be the top coats i guess yes these four are the glitter shades and these are the toppers so let me just get this out of the way and just swatch them for you on my arm so let me just get the base coats that it is a nice like pigmentation so i'm not negative about that but it is kind of like chalky it does stay on the finger really well but when you put it like on the rest of your skin nah it's kind of like i don't know so i just um swatched these off camera because my um, camera is almost completely full so all of the colors are actually really decently pigmented especially um these two this one and this one so one of the toppers is really really good um there is like a purple shade in there and the golden topper is a little bit like nah i'm not that like super enthusiastic about it but it doesn't look bad at all and as you can see the um, colored ones are actually really really soft so i do feel like especially these two have like great pigments but just to get this palette for those two shades i would personally just skip it i actually um really was hoping for something more glittery more pigmented but yeah like when you see the image right here you think that it is like super glittery and then it looks like this in real life so it isn't like the way it's supposed to look in my opinion like the topper colors look okay but these all seem a lot darker on the PR image um, and not in the pan. So that's kind of like a bummer. But yeah, that were actually all the items I got. I really have to say that I'm really thankful for receiving all of these items. I'm really looking forward to just um, using especially the polishes and that sugar scrub. Um, the serums actually do work pretty nicely. The highlighter is amazingly pigmented, as you can still see right here. So I'll be using that a ton. The blush reminds me a lot of the NARS Orgasm one. And this brow tint I still have to try out. So I'm actually going to try it out later on this weekend. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments down below what items from the new... Um, fall winter collection you really want to buy i'm really curious about that but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video